guys, hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everyone's doing so great. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a piece of clothing that I'm completely obsessed with. Uh, I'm talking about biker shorts or cycling shorts. I think it is such a versatile piece and it can be worn with so many different pieces. Um, I mean, you could dress it up, you can dress it down and it is so easy to style. Like you can literally wear it for any occasion. You could wear it when you're going for a dog walk. You could wear it if you're going for a coffee run, run errands, go to the park with your kids, shopping. I don't know, I would even wear it for drinks. I'm gonna try and show you eight different ways that I've styled them today. And I really hope you get some kind of an inspiration. Now, I know that this item was trending a few years ago when Kim Kardashian had started wearing it. Even Princess Diana used to wear it. But I think it is still so cute and I'm gonna still keep wearing it, whether trending or not. I mean, if you're comfortable in it and you feel confident in it, you keep wearing it. That's completely fine. You don't always have to keep up with the trends. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the video. I really hope you like it. So the first item I have here is this cream colored cycling shorts. So these are from Mango. Uh, these are high waisted, they're ribbed and they're a tad bit longer to the other cycling shorts I'm gonna be showing you today. Uh, so they add that extra bit of coverage. Also, even though they're light in color, they're not at all transparent. They're made out of this really good quality thick material. So you don't have to worry about your undergarment showing through. Uh, that being said, guys, I highly recommend that anytime you're wearing a lighter colored bottom, please stick with nude undergarments. They're always the safest. I have paired it with this really, really cropped sweatshirt from H&M. I mean, it's really cropped. If I raise my hand, I could flash people. And that is the downside of it. Uh, this is a few seasons old, um, so I don't think it's currently available, but keep an eye out for it. They keep bringing back the same style in different colors and patterns. Also, this is very easy to recreate at home. You could just take one of your old sweatshirts and take a scissor and just crop it out. And voila, you have a cropped sweatshirt. So I have styled this with this really beautiful lacy bralette underneath. Now this does two things. It of course gives me security, but it also adds that extra lacy beautiful detail to it. This makes it a little more feminine. I've also paired it with a lot of gold jewelry, gold necklaces and gold earrings. I think gold jewelry can elevate any outfit and make it look so much richer. And last but not the least, I've paired it with my Converse, comfort is key. Now this outfit is something that I would wear to either a cafe to have breakfast or maybe for a coffee run. So for my second outfit, I'm sticking with the same cycling shorts and Converse. I've just changed up the top bit. So instead of a crop sweatshirt, I've taken an oversized chunky hoodie from Calvin Klein. It is cream in color, so it matches with the cycling shorts. And to smarten up the outfit, I'm wearing it with this grazy blazer from Zara. I would also pair it with a massive pair of sunglasses and yeah, I would be good to go. I think I would wear this outfit uh, for brunch or for breakfast on a colder morning. Uh, you could easily swap out the blazer for a puffer jacket uh, and chunky boots. Um, that would also look really cool. I would probably go for a dog walk in that. The next outfit I have here is this coat set from Zara. I mean, look at the color guys. It's so beautiful. I absolutely fell for this beautiful, rich green. Um, and yeah, it is from the seamless range. These come in very many colors. I have another pair here that I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, let's talk about this beautiful green. It is stretchy, it is high-waisted, and it is so soft. It is such a good shape on your body. It makes you look so good. I have paired it with this beautiful green sweatshirt from H&M. I sized up in this sweatshirt because I wanted it to be really baggy and loose. Now you could easily wear it as a sweatshirt and uh, cycling shorts and that would look great as well. Or you could wear it the way I've worn it. I've just wrapped it around my neck or like just tied a knot. Um, I have worn it with my Adidas sneakers. I would wear it um, if I was lounging around at home or just like chilling with my family. The last time I'd worn it when my best friend had come over. I did not wear it with sneakers, I just wore it with these really warm woolen socks and it was such a comfortable, cozy outfit but like still made me look like really put together and nice. So the next outfit I have is this pair from Zara. This is also a quad set, just like the previous one. Uh, this comes from the seamless range. Again, the same thing, extremely soft, extremely stretchy. I'm wearing it in a size extra small to small. Guys, do not size up. These are extremely stretchy and they really, really trick the shape of your body. So they're very, very flattering. Now I have worn them 
with this sweatshirt from Zara. I just think the combination of light grey, maroon and turquoise looked really great. I have styled it with my Nike sneakers. Now I would wear this outfit if I was doing things with my kids. Mostly running around or like chasing them or taking them to the park to play in the park. I think this is a very comfortable and secured outfit for a park. So the next item I have here is this unitard from Mango. Now I know this is not exactly cycling shorts but it kind of falls in the same category for me. Uh, this is from the sports section that Mango has come out with so you could easily wear it to the gym and it is like really well thought out. It has a padding up at the front so you don't really have to wear a bra under it. It has a low back and a crossover so it adds a great detail to the back and it also has this ribbing on the side near your waist so it gives an illusion of a smaller waist and it just cinches it in. So the first way I've worn it is just with the oversized cotton shirt from H&M and my Nike slides. Now this is just an everyday casual look which I would probably wear just around home doing my chores or even do a grocery run in it. And the second way that I've styled it is for an evening out. So I've just popped up a black blazer over it. Now this is my trusty old Zara blazer that I've shown in my previous video. Uh, it is long line and it is like very smart. So to cinch in my waist and give myself a little more shape, I've added a waist belt to it. Any kind of a wide waist belt would do. Uh, mine is from a brand called And Also. And uh, they're made out of real leather, so they're slightly expensive, but it's like a good investment. I've also added a pair of barely there heels from Steve Madden. Now if I'm going out in this, I would add a, maybe a red lip and smoky eye. And I would wear this out if I'm going out for drinks or even clubbing. I think my husband would like to go on a date night with me as well in this. The next cycling shots I have here are from Mango as well. They're in a nude color. Um, it's like a pinky nude, so it like really, really suits my tan skin tone. I think it brings out my color really well. Now I have paired it with a black crop top from a brand called Bougie, but like any black crop top would do. Um, and I've put on a black formal blazer over it and left the buttons open so that a little bit of my midriff can be seen. I think it helps break the outfit. And I've worn them with kitten heels. I think kitten heels are so, so comfortable to walk in and they instantly make you look like so put together and well dressed. And also it looks like you've put in so much effort. Uh, I would wear this outfit if I was going out shopping to a shopping mall or a day of shopping in general. Um, I think it's one of those outfits that it's so easy to go into the changing room and remove and try different outfits and put it back again. So for my last outfit, I've got this black cycling shorts and this orange bra. Both of these are from Nike. And I've put on this cropped bomber jacket from Zara. That's the one. It's a cropped jacket, so it is very flattering. It hits at the right point on my body. It accentuates the smallest part of my body. So it's very, very flattering on my figure. Also, the jacket does two things for me. It's going to keep me warm, especially if I'm going for a run in the morning or if I'm done working out and I want to maintain my body heat. And also it's a good cover up, especially if I'm going in and out of the gym or I'm running on the streets. So yeah, that outfit would be worn for any kind of a workout, either going for a run or going to the gym, as I said. So that's it guys, that was the last of my outfits for today. I really hope you liked the video and got some kind of an idea about how you could also style your cycling shorts. Um, and thank you so much to everybody who watched my video the last time and took the time to watch it and write a message and comment. I am so, so grateful for each and every one of you. It is so encouraging. Thank you so, so very much. Also, before I forget, please subscribe and maybe leave a comment in the down box below and let me know which one is your favorite outfit from today and if you have any other ways and other ideas of how I could style my cycling shorts. Until next time, bye-bye.